from Orange Walk to Dangriga. Applicants gather in Belize City for the interview of a lifetime. They came to battle it out for one managerial position at the bank. For the next five weeks, the chairman and his team will challenge the seven promising applicants in sales, marketing, creativity, and leadership. Seven candidates, one secured contract. This is The Belize Apprentice. Afternoon. Well, we're down to the three finalists and we're down to the final challenge. This challenge brings us back squarely into the focus of the Belize Bank. For this particular challenge, each candidate will be required to operate separately. There will be no teams at this point in time. The task is the rebranding of the Belize Bank BB Mobile Banking Platform. We are currently considering rebranding this product which is our BB Mobile product. And we'd like you to participate in the rebranding exercise. As part of that rebranding, we expect the following deliverables. So I want you to listen very carefully. We're looking for a new product name, we're looking for a new product logo, and we're looking for a new ad concept, including the storyboard. Because there are three of you, we are going to be adding an additional facilitator who will be working with the um, apprentices. So there'll be three facilitators, one each allo allocated to each and every one of you. Your recommendations will be made to a panel of bank officers and executives at the end of the task, and we'll also include in the adjudication process our external marketing consultants. This particular challenge is extremely close to the Billy's Bank, so I want you each to put your best foot forward. I want to see your innovation and your creativity especially at the stage where we're going to select the final two. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Janela Costa from the Belize Bank. I am the officer in charge of online banking. Today, I will be presenting to you BB Mobile. What is BB Mobile? BB Mobile, Belize Bank Mobile is Belize Bank's text or SMS banking service which allows you to access your Belize Bank information or initiate transactions via text message right from your mobile phone. This feature allows you to view your account balances, make bill payments, perform transfers, and receive alerts for selected accounts activating through SMS messages by sending a formatted message. I'm a little bit tired right now from the previous challenges. I'm uh, excited, uh, you know, for the, few, uh, for the upcoming challenge. I'm going to take a little bit of rest, um, you know, not too much stress. I believe the task is, it's, it's a new challenge. It's not something uh, out of the ball park. Um, I have a wild imagination. Uh, when I put it into thinking, I could create anything that comes to mind. So I'm not really worried about this next competition. I still have a lot to prove. Um, so I'm looking forward to that and showing off my skills and I'm um, dropping jazz. Oh, well, I'm feeling pretty excited that it's only three of us. And well, the new, the new project that is assigned to us, the new challenge, well, I don't know much about it, but I think I could take on my, my ideas, my creativity, and it just makes me feel a little nervous. But at the same time, I feel good because I'm working with myself. And I know that everything that I'll do, it's only my ideas, no one else. And it won't create too much conflict since I'm not working with someone else. Well, we're down to the final three, you know. That's wonderful. <laughs> At least I'm making it in the top three. But, um, you know, we need to, to uh, rebrand, rename the Belize um, bank, mobile banking service. So um, that's pretty hard. It's a challenge, you know. Uh, they give it something that normally it takes a team to do. So. Um, I think we're all on fear ground, me and the other two competitors. You know, um, I might have a slight advantage again because I've already worked with um, 
ads and commercials, you know, stuff like that. So my idea is already there. I just need to do the logo and the, the name and then slip it in where they need it to be. I really love it. Um, the bank currently offers a service, a mobile banking service, um, where um, customers can sign up and then um, get text notification and text to pay bills, text to transfer funds, stuff like that. So right now this is their um, logo, but uh, they want to they wanna rebrand, they want to bring it out again, right? bring it fresh. So I uh, went through a series of thoughts last night that tried to clear my head and uh, I was thinking text, you know, and transaction, banking transaction. So my, my mind led to text, text to, text, text to transact, right? But that's too long, <laughs> right? You think so? Uh -huh. Yeah, t t text to transact. So okay. I thought of um, T3 or 3T. This is the idea that I have, that I prepared last night. Um, I plan to, to name it BB on the go. But um, I also have other ideas, right? But I don't know. Um, I had this name, but I like the other one more. Like the mobile banking. No, I, I prefer this one, the baby on the go, which is Belize Bank on the go. When uh, you create a logo, you have to think where this has to be printed. Even if you print in a pen, yeah. uh, it has to be clear. And oh, people okay. have to recognize the the, the logo oh, sure. has to be uh -huh. clean, very clean. Name like pick the mobile money. Mobile money. Right, I'm more trying to envision I mean this to be green and but to me this is just plain. I want something that could grasp from the behind and you basically have like um, someone like being able to do all these transactions. Yeah. With your phone. With your phone. Through but text. of course through 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 the, the Blizz Bank. Exactly. Alright. Yeah, that's it. I tried it on a shirt to see if I was oh, feeling that, but um, yeah, I'm not feeling that either. So so I'm ending up with this BBT3. Yeah. So you thought you want a phone. Mm -hmm. Like a nice what type of phone. You want the phone on the side like that or you want the straight? Um you can have different drafts and we'll see okay. what angles yeah. You, you can straighten it if you want. The idea on the go is is good, but the logo is a little bit plain. Yeah. Uh, on the go, uh, the same yeah. the same size of text. Okay. Uh, it's because uh, I don't really know how to draw, so I just mm -hmm. I just got the name right. See, like, why? Not why in terms of missing me, like having just a plain white background or a black background or like a color like black will make it look um, yeah. a little more dramatic. Mm. If you notice, uh, like, like it's basic text, but because it's in black, but it looks yeah, a little yeah, more dramatic. Yeah, exactly, because they only bring it to But that's, mm. that's a minimal, like, that That wouldn't really got, got fussy with the, the logo. Yeah, I guess right. I just, mm. how you place it now. You could try it, you could try it in both. Mm. Let's see how it works. In terms of um, the idea here, I'm more leaning towards this one. I like it. The only thing I yeah, said, I like um, it too. Uh, the black. Either the black or the white background. Like, like, I guess you could place it on two of them. I think that would be hard to do. And then from there, email that to me and another song, decide which one I actually want to go with. But um, I'm going to lead towards this. Um, I want to figure it later, but I'm going to incorporate, you know, Billy's Bank somewhere like that. The logo is small. But I don't have exactly where I want to put it yet. So. Okay. You want the colors to be the blue and green? And you want a phone. You don't have any particular phone model in mind, right? No, no. Okay. There's something that looks modern, that's how. Okay. Represent technology at, in this so. age. Okay. All right. We could use green and, then and this green too. And then the rest blue. And the rest blue. And we could use maybe a white text with an, a green Bank outline, no? okay. green okay. outline mm -hmm. for banking. Sounds great. Mm -hmm. I like it. I just want to see how it looks when it's done, you know. Digitally. Um, Definitely yeah. try try more than one and give you a few of them. Yeah. Options if you could do all of them, if you could, right? If you have the time, do all of them. Yeah, I'll try. I'll it would try. be good. But if not, I mean, focus on any two from here. All right. But I want this one to be one of the main ones. Definitely. Christian, um, what we're supposed to do right now, uh, you will sketch my idea of the ad for. Um, for the for the product that Belize Bank wants, right? Yeah. Uh, the product is um currently it's, it's called Belize Bank Mobile, but I, I'm 
you know, a part of our challenges to revamp that. My idea for the ad is um, at our disposal we have um, members of the FFB, so, you know, mm -hmm. players of the football team. So I was thinking we could use them. Um, the first scene, to start. The first scene I have um, the team to play ball, you know, mm -hmm. um, on the FFB stadium. Um, yeah, focus more for West, you know, well, not be a lot, you know, maybe one of them shuffle the ball a little bit and one of them kick out West and hold it, then the coach at the line, you know, guys bring it in, take a break. The phone are ring thing, so um, you get paid because of that, you could get notifications when you get paid, and so right. Yeah, start putting uh, um, the, the information. Yeah, when you type yeah. in for text, and then automatically he going in a phone and then come back out at the bank, so because of the text, right? I have to do a storyboard and a script, right? Okay. So using this brand that I have here and um, well, all the features in it, well, I want to include some because I can't really include all. So this is the idea that I have that I want to do is this. I want to have the picture, well, someone, a lady, to be more specific, that lives at a village <laughs> and she would be either washing or cooking, whichever would look better. And after that, I want to show uh, like an expression of her that she remembers that she has to pay the bill. Well, you, I just want the expression of her because then I have to write the, the Surprised. Lines. Yeah, she's surprised. And then after that, she gets ready quick. After she gets off the bus, she would be like running towards the bank. Like show a picture of her running and then the bank and then someone that it's closed. When she reaches, it's closed. And then she's like, like, all disappointed or worried. For sure, the idea of it, what I want. Now, I'm not doing nobody on the talk, there was music and uh, this is a story, but this is how you be like. You don't want to um, portray him power key. Yeah. Yeah. The check like, the like those kind of transition like a mm -hmm. new this they're not, they're not the same era then they're like different eras. Different eras, yeah. yeah. Studio was so now another era. Yeah. And he there now another era. The Probably watch, he uh, there the keys and she there in the city. And one there the environment that's for sure how no matter where you there, mm -hmm. believe more about banking. You can use it anywhere and everywhere. Like I like you know most Belgian commercials have a lot of talking mm -hmm. and then you know, like thirty seconds a lot of talking like okay I grasp the idea. So I just wanna be like that like, mellow with a tune and have the storyboard like that, one section, one section. Nobody not the talk. But what you do you have a small caption, but you have enough time for read the show what they need to do. Alright, so that part they will not put that part. Yeah, well yeah, I'm writing the the part, the part so, where like I tell you for mm. writing panel. So in terms of guiding and what's best, it's really left up to him to decide. You know, you just basically the conduit to put it on the paper. So the idea is more or less supposed to come from him, and based on what he wants. So. Right. Yeah. No problem. Yeah. Yeah. Then she's at home she's with the phone. She's at home with the phone. Yeah. Mm, relaxing. Relaxing. Kana here, just call and check up on the on the logos and how it's, how it's coming along. Did you get all the information? Okay. Uh, well, I got everything, but I'll let 
Sunday night and I'll show you the doctor which was there to us. Okay. Alright, no problem. Anyway, well, let's no problem. just you, give you want to check your meal and we'll listen tonight? Yeah, yeah. Because I'll just give you a meal. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll give me a car text and get through, okay. Hello, J Javis? Yeah, um, just, um, what's the difference with the ones on the left and the right? Just the background? Alright, yeah, um, alright, I, I don't like the, the, the first ones because it looks like an iPad, right, and the more a phone. The last two are the green box, the green box. Yeah, uh, not that uh, either. I like the, the middle ones, but just the, the, What's that about? I met with my graphic designer, which was Juan Reyes, and I really got to interact good with him. I gave him my ideas, and he understood it well. And well, during the whole time, we just drafted some some logos that I had in mind, and he helped me to to put it in place. Right. In terms of creating a storyboard, I, I've never actually made a comic or. Or did a commercial before, but uh, you know I've, I've always uh, looked at ads on TV and said, you know what, maybe she have done this, maybe she have done that, I didn't like that. So being the person always at the receiving end, looking at the television, you know what I would like and what I wouldn't like, I try to improvise on that, you know, especially with the, you know commercials that all I do is just talk, 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 you know, give it a different feeling and an environment and. Uh, a little bit of uh, humor to it as well. That's the first time I got a challenge and I didn't know what to do, but um, the more more time passed and I started to think about it and did a little bit of research, um, I found that it was actually a very easy um, challenge, you know. Um, I got my ideas done last night, I, I worked through everything, so today when the designer came and the sketch artist, I, I just got them done, you know, straight to working, it was straight business, so um, I'm finished now, it's pretty early right now, and I'm finished, so I'm feeling happy about that, just putting my presentation together and trying to build a concept around how I will present it so that it can, it can stand out to, to the chair tomorrow, right? Chantel, she impressed me. She is a very good artist and I barely know girls that are artists, so I really enjoyed working with her. She did exactly what I wanted. Like, the pictures, they come out, came out very well. I just loved it and to me, well, it will help me to portray better what I want to portray on my commercial. <laughs>
afternoon. Good afternoon, Adrian. Before you begin your presentation this afternoon, I'd like to take the opportunity to introduce two new members of our panel this afternoon. We have with us Ms. Tanya McNabb from McNabb Design. She's the owner and managing partner of that firm. She'll be here assisting as a consultant in the adjudication process. And we also have Mr. Marlo Neal, who has facilitated on this particular occasion working with Tariq. My presentation is on the rebrand and relaunch of the Belize Bank Mobile Banking Service. So I got around to thinking we're using text to do banking transactions. So I pulled out the treaties and I got the Belize Tea Tree Service, the Belize Bank Tea Tree Service. So that is my proposed name for the SMS banking service that we have. I got it wrong again. I'm thinking phone, incorporate the Belize Bank logo, and the name that I came up with, the Belize Bank's tea tree service, which is the phone, the Belize Bank logo, and the product, and I came up with the BB tea tree. And that is my proposed logo. I also did a shirt to, to mock up how it would look on a shirt. I pretty much like it, so here I'm introducing officially the Belize Bank Tea Tree Service. Mm -hmm. Next, I have to do an ad. So this is my script for the ad. I've incorporated, as you see, the football players because we have them to use right now. So in scene one, up here, we have the guys playing football, you know, doing their regular practice during the day, FFB Stadium. And, um, you know, Wes is talking to the guys, you know, bring it, you know, shoot, what's not. Um, uh, the coach breaks them and says, all right, guys, take five. So they walk towards the bench. Wes sits on the bench, drinks some water, hears his phone ringing. It's that. He sees that it's a text from the Belize Bank. It's the notification saying that his salary has been deposited. So <clears throat> he automatically thinks to himself, I should use this five minutes to pay my to pay my bills and my credit card and I need to send some money to my mom. So he's thinking, I should do this now using the tea tree service. So he gets the texting, that's this scene here. He gets the texting using the, um, the syntax that you need to put into the, the necessary payments. And uh, conceptually, this is what I'm thinking. From this scene, using the phone, he automatically enters the bank because that's theoretically, that's the idea. So from this scene, he comes to the bank scene where he's just walking up to the teller from you know, a couple of steps and saying, you know, they're sharing, sharing a conversation. Good morning, Mr. West. What can I do for you? That's Itala. Hey, morning. I'd like to pay a couple of bills, my credit card, and oh, I'd like, I need to transfer some money to my mom. So, you know, that's what the teller is doing from, for her, for him, sorry. Um, she does the transaction, and um, at the end of the scene, when she's almost done, you hear Mr. Ely's voice. Yo, Wes, Wes, you know, coming in, it's just a voice in. Um, cut scene, back to, um, here is illustrating Wes coming out of his phone, you know, theoretically. That's his eye to get a little more sensation from the situation, and then that's Dalton Ely. Over here we have Wes coming up now to reality, where he's sitting on the bench, talking to Mr. Ely, and he's like, Yo, Wes, coach says break's over. Wes is like, yeah, okay, I'm just paying my bills and sending some money for my mom with the Belize Bank T3 service. Ely's like, but we don't have internet out here. How are you doing that? We, you know, mobile banking. Wes is like, this is text banking. You don't need internet access. Dude, you don't even need credits to do this service, right? <laughs> the coach interrupts them, you know. You guys, are you talking or are you playing? They're like, yes, coach. And so they resume to play, to practice. <laughs> <laughs> and it's also a good <laughs> <laughs> Right? And that's the end of my presentation. Thank you very much, Adrian. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Congratulations on an excellent performance today. You know, you've really taken the level up a notch. Um, keep up the excellent work you're doing. I'm very proud of what you presented this afternoon. Awesome. Yeah. Um, being the expert in the room this afternoon, I'd really appreciate your views in terms of Adrian's presentation. Um, I think the presentation, like you said, was very well done. Um, my first question is if you would like to um, move to the logo slide. Um, my question is why you didn't use some of the existing letter forms that exist in the logo as well. I feel that maybe there's a little bit of a disconnect if you saw that standing alone that you might not know what BBT3 is or that it belongs to Belize Bank. It uses the colors 
um, but the logo forms aren't what we have um, transitioned over in the past year. Uh, the form selection wasn't uh, really my idea, it was more my design, so I just got the colors and I saw that it was basically what I had done previously, so I just okay. I like the, uh, the, the ad more than the logo. Uh, I agree with Tanya, the, you should have looked at the font, very, you know, in, in our branding, the font is very, very important. Okay. So that is something that anytime that we do something that represents the bank, the font should be able to uh, represent uh, and be standardized across most of, of, of our logos. Yes, sir. I can see how that ad would look uh, good, very relevant. Um, I could see Wes walking in, I, I could actually see it where you know, they were practicing or playing and it's very muddy, right? And he will be full of mud and he will walk inside a branch to make the transition full of mud, yeah. to make that more uh, uh, you know, impactful. Yeah, that's my view also. Okay, so <laughs> you should have said it. That was my view. If I say it, it's my view. I'm sorry. Good. Good. Using the previous, um, the football with this, knowing that we sponsored is was a perfect way to bring this in, um, and that's my my comment. Thank you very much, Adrian. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Have a good day. Sooner than later. Today, this afternoon, I'll be introducing to you my ideas that I came up um, in one day, two days. So I hope that it is a help to you guys. First of all, I uh, want to show the Belize Bank Mobile. This is the name of the product that you presently have. And uh, my new product name is the Belize Bank On The Go. And this is my logo. I simply decided to put banking on the go. Uh, I'll explain every little feature that is here. The, this feature first, the first part here, it represents speed, meaning that it is very fast. And then we also have the cell phone, which represents that it is a mobile service. And the, the D here, I decided to put it as a D because it represents that most people uh, use texting that they would use the shark cards on this, so this represents texting. And then I also have on the go, the, the, the G, as you can see, is like a refre refresh button, something that you could find uh, on a computer, on a web page or any page that you have. And then the, the little three stripes uh, meaning wireless, so that you could work wireless on, on your banking. And then I have my script. First of all, it is about this, this woman. Her name is Marta. Well, you could give her any name. And she is from the village of Trinidad in Arunjaktong. So she, she's in the bus and she, she mentions this. This bus is taking too long, right? But, uh, and I just hope I can make it on time because she needs to hurry. She needs to pay her electricity bill. And as well, she needs to send money to her son. And then, as you can see, she's rushing herself to the bank. And when she reaches, unfortunately, the bank will be closed. Therefore, she, she has a very disappointing um, feeling in herself. When on her way back home, she will, be, she will meet with a girl named Gina that she works in Belize Bank. And they're from the same village. So they'll be um, having a conversation and Jenny will ask, Miss Marta, what is wrong? Why, are you, why do you look so down? And then she would explain to her that she could not get on time to the bank because due to the traffic. So then Miss Jenny comes in and she says, um, haven't you heard of the Belize Bank on the go service? And then Sarah would say that no, that she hasn't heard of it. Jenny would explain to her all the features, what it is about. It, she would tell her that it is banking with mobile, with your mobile. You could do many other things that the services provide. And also you, you will receive SMS notifying you about any transaction made. And she will definitely be applying the other day and then she, you showed someone applying. 
And then Gina would say, yes, you can visit us on number 34 Main Park Street or simply visit our website. And I find that I decided to end it with her being at home cleaning the table and at the same time using her mobile to make any transaction. It is easy, convenient, and fast. Thank you for your time. Thank you very much, Nanita. Thank you. Nanita, I want to commend you on an excellent performance this afternoon, okay. especially in the context of the time frame in which you all were given to do this appraisal. I like the innovativeness of the logo. I like how you've linked the logo to the different aspects of texting and mobile and internet you know, connectivity. I think it was an excellent idea to do that. I quite like the name um, On The Go. Um, it's something that resonates with me because it's something that I would say when I speak in Creole, yeah. you know, so I, I can identify with that. And it therefore appeals to a very wide cross-section of people rather than the formal English. Yeah. When I look at the, um, the colors, though, the colors doesn't seem to be as vibrant as the, the Billy's Bank colors, so there might have been some work that you could have done there. Um, in terms of your presentation style, um, I like the fact that you dress formal for the occasion. Um, you look very pretty today, you know. <laughs> Not that you happened in the past, but you look stunning today, okay? Um, you need to be a bit stronger in terms of the way in which you articulate your position. A lot of times, what could be detracting from a presentation is not so much the um, actual presentation itself, but the way in which you present. So you need to work on your presentation skills, and if you do that, I think your future is going to be very bright. So congratulations on an excellent job today. Thank you very much. With regards to the On The Go name, I don't know, but for some reason, the name On The Go, I, I heard it before. So I don't know if it's something that I heard it here or somewhere else, so, uh, but I, I think the On The Go name is not uh, very innovative. I, I don't know why, but I, I heard it before. Okay. I see that you put a lot of work on the logo, and maybe you put too much effort and too much work. It looked very busy to me. I like the commercial. Uh, you know, there's a lot of different permutations that you could have used. But I like the bus, the thing happening in the, in the bus. But all in all, good job. Thank you. Tani, you want to comment on it? With the logo, I feel that it is a little bit too busy, maybe too many lines. Okay. Um, the, you, you have gotten across your concept of on the go, but from a, from a branding standpoint, it has to be quick to recognize. And I think that when somebody looks at it, they'll have to stop for a moment to figure out what it is they're looking at. With regards to branding, um, I didn't see anything in there that represented what the Belize Bank is now in terms of colors, in terms of um, font usage, in terms of style. One thing about the ad, um, Sarah and Jenny sort of popped into the, the ad because you had Martha and Gina and then all of a sudden you had, and I kind of miss how, you know, they relate, but a good concept. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, afternoon. Good afternoon. Today we're presenting uh, Money Mobile. It's our country, your bank, in your hands. Okay, I came with the product name Mobile Money. You know, it seems catchy. It's short, nothing too long. And from, from there, I created the logo for Money Mobile, Mobile Money, which is revolutionizing the future also as a slogan. Now, to promote it better here, what I did was, um, I did something a little bit different. I didn't go with making a script or trying to make a storyline. What this is here with the, with, with the sketch, with the sketching is, the idea is music is gonna be playing in the background. There are gonna be different locations and while the music is playing, we're gonna have a caption here showing what they're actually doing. Uh, now here we have Jade is checking her savings balance, you know, enough if it is in case if it's enough for the purchase. What that is, uh, you know, Julie is using her phone to check her balance and see if she can purchase the shoes. What we do is from there is uh, we try to capture uh, different locations in terms of that. You know, also off the coast of Danbriga. You know, uh, Mr. Palazzo is also, he just got a, a text updating his credit, I mean his balance, saying that, uh, you know, the person who ordered the, the, sh uh, the fish has just paid. Showing uh, no matter where you are, you could get it. Off the coast of Danbury. Also, 
No, like, and showing different locations and then, like, a caption comments and show what he's doing. Alan Moore is paying his daughter's school fees from the jungle. Once, you know, he's hiking, you know, his daughter texts dad, school fees are late. From there, the caption is there to showing that. Now, also what I did is adding a little bit of, uh, you know, humor to it to show, you know, that, by the way, off the coast of Dangria, you know, in Turkey, this is a guy of man as well. You know, in the first city was Hispanic showing the variety in Belize. Now here we have a Chinese guy on the toilet, you know, showing that no matter where you are, he's in a public bathroom. You know, he's been notified that his credit card payment is uh, due, and he's like, ah, oh, man, you know. But what this is, it captures, it captures the, the team of what, no matter where you are, and the people remember that funniness, and then they want to know, well, maybe I should go to Beesbach and learn more about this. <laughs> and the good part about it is, being that it's music, and I'm just capturing the background, you can always translate it in Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So along with that, and you know, to conclude that, you know, it's Belize Bank, our country, our bank, revolutionizing the future, mobile banking. Mm -hmm. And that's it. That's it? Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Tariq, I would say to you what I said to the other apprentices this afternoon. This is a fantastic presentation. When I think of the time frame you all have been given to put this together, you have to be commended. Uh, in the professional world, a lot of times it takes a lot longer to get this done, so excellent job. I love the fact that you um, allow the ad to speak for itself without the um, verbosity of words. Um, I like the humor. I think that, that appeals to me. And I can see myself, you know, <laughs> smiling and looking at this ad. Um, I also like the fact that you have used the iconic scenes in Belize and the different ethnicities um, to represent, you know, but anybody in any territory in this country can have access to mobile banking. When I look at the actual logo itself, um, and while the colors are a bit, you know, a bit different, what I like about your logo is that it's clean, um, it speaks mobile, it, it jumps out at me, and even though I love my um, tagline, our country, our bank, I, I, I appreciate what you've tried to do there in the transition from our country, our bank, to revolutionize in the future, and I think um, it's a, an appealing aspect of the, the logo. Mm -hmm. What I would do now is invite Ms. McNabb, who is a consultant and an expert in this area, to express her views on the presentation. I like specifically that you paid keen attention to what the bank currently has. Um, the colors are very similar and well, it's, it's, um, your mobile money logo is pretty much similar to the bank. I don't know, maybe if it's a little too close to what it is, we don't want to confuse our audience. Um, my, my, my concern is on the name that it's called mobile money and that may indicate that it costs money to operate. So my, my only comment would be maybe to rethink the name just a little bit, but right. also, I mean, I agree that um, setting your commercials all over the country is always a very good thing. Everybody can relate. Salario? I like that you use three M's, for instance, and, you know, visually it looks uh, appealing. Uh, I like how you played around with our tagline and with our logo. Uh, I think that, it's, that was very innovative. I don't like the credit cards kind of hanging from the side of the phone. Maybe that looks a little bit too much. I like that you used humor. I like that you went outside of, uh, you know, the norm and presented something very different. I don't think that we will use it, <laughs> but uh, I like the concept that you are at least look, look outside of the box. So for me is the, the ad in relation to using different parts of Belize. Um, that was very, very good, but definitely good concept. Terry, thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Tanya, I believe we had three exceptional presentations this afternoon, but I have of course, I'm speaking as a layman in these matters. So rather than, you know, complicated by saying anything further, I'd like the opportunity for you to share with us your views in terms of what you saw this afternoon. Um, I thought that all three presentations were very good. Um, I thought the delivery on, on, on all three of them were very strong. They seem to be confident candidates. They don't seem to be scared to share their ideas. 
Um, and I think that is a big plus and it shows that probably with a little more time the concepts could have been developed um, even further. I think the weaknesses almost across the board is the fact that they have not really taken into consideration the bank's new brand and I think it's something that the bank has been working really hard to establish so for them to take a product and develop it that's moving away from the branding it's a concern um, of mine. But all in all, I think it's, it's extremely difficult for me to separate you know, one of these participants from the other this afternoon. But what, what encourages me that I've been in here since the, the beginning of this whole program is how you see these uh, candidates evolve. The first time we, we've seen <coughs> Nelita speak, uh, and we saw Tariq speak, you know, to now, I see a huge difference. And it, you know, just the effort that Melita has put to, 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 to make a full makeover. I mean, that, that to me speaks volumes. You know, Chairman, I don't know how you're going to do this one. <laughs> uh, this is a very tough one. If you ask me, I'm probably going to stay out of, out of <laughs> choosing, but you know, that's your position. Tanya, on behalf of the board and the executive management team, I'd like to thank you for your contribution this afternoon. I am hopeful that sometime in the future we'll be collaborating again on this and other ventures. And hopefully the winner of this evening's event will be working with you sometime in the future. So thank you again. Thank Missy, you. thank you also for your contribution this afternoon. Mm -hmm. um, I think what is going to separate these candidates really is you know, what happens in the background because it's difficult to separate them on the basis of the content of their presentation and their presentational styles today. So it's really going to be up to you to decide this evening's um, adjudication because I am having a difficulty separating you know, these candidates. So maybe we start with Greg, you know, share with us what you saw in the background, you know, what are your views, so that we can use that information and come into the final determination. Well, Adrian, Adrian was extremely focused. He was well prepared, he, he knew what he wanted and he went for it. Um, in, in the designing of the logo, he had a, when, by the time the graphic designer came, he already had a sample, sample of what he wanted. So they went directly to that and she made a few recommendations and they spent maybe 10 minutes together because he knew what he wanted. He, the night before he spent the time and he prepared for that meeting. By the time the sketch artist came, again, he, he had a script prepared. He had the script and a, and a freehand drawing of what he wanted. So for both meetings, he was well prepared and knew exactly what he wanted and he went for it. <clears throat> well, Chairman, Nalita was very organized from the beginning of the challenge. Um, from when I went in to speak with her earlier in the morning, she already had the banking on the go idea. She had a couple more ideas, but to her, this one was a bit more attractive. But throughout the entire thing, she was very organized, very detailed. When the designer came in, the graphic designer, sorry, happens to speak Spanish and the entire conversation was in Spanish one spell I had to tell her she needs to speak English through the whole thing but she was very comfortable communicating. Um, he sent her about 12 different designs of the logo in which she kept communicating with him, giving, her, giving him her feedback. Um, at the end she decided on that one. The, with the sketch artist again too, very organized, very detailed, had her script already planned out. Um, she went with the approach of the more grassroots native. I asked her at the end how she felt. She didn't feel overly confident, but she was very satisfied with her work that she put in. She went to sleep at three o'clock in the morning. So she's a very dedicated young woman and overall thought she was very organized throughout the entire process. Ms. Anil, chairman in meeting with Tariq, I believe that he was very well prepared going into the meeting with the graphic artist. He actually had a graphical representation of the concept that he wanted uh, portrayed in the final, final mock-up. But I think Tariq did well in listening to the graphic designer and you know, still taking into consideration some of his recommendations. But in the end, in the final rendering, it was his original concept and his original idea. Tariq's uh, designer, was a very talented fellow, however, he came very late. Tariq was tremendously cool under pressure. He was not splitting hairs, he was not worried, he didn't break a sweat. I think I was more concerned for Tariq than he was. Um, even in getting the final, final design, he did not get it until today. You all have made the job easier? <laughs> I mean, it seems as though you have just compounded the problem. 
you know. Um, but I'm happy with what I've heard. I think we need to um, bring the candidates back in. Mm. Welcome back, apprentices. Thank you. Yes, Today is a very important day. It's a very difficult day for us because you all did exceptionally well in terms of presentations. Just as importantly, when we interviewed the facilitators to get some background as to how you came about with the ideas, they too you know, were very complimentary in the way in which each and every one of you went about your presentations. But all in all, I have to say that, you know, I don't know if I were in your positions, that I would be able to come up with the caliber of work that you did today. You all did, you know, an excellent job. And I mean, it is the most difficult task, you know, for me this afternoon to have to eliminate one of you. Having said that, and having had discussions with my executive team here and the facilitators, I think I would have to go against the production team this afternoon and take a decision that I think they may not necessarily agree with. And that decision is that all of you will go to the finals. All of you will go to the finals. We would not we're not in a position to eliminate any of you. It was too close, the presentations. And therefore, you're all winners today. And I look forward to seeing you on Key Chapel, where we'll have our final task. So each of you will be presented with a Galaxy smartphone this afternoon, because you're all winners this afternoon. The primary purpose, as you all know, of the Billy's Apprentice is the identification of a young man or woman who can become a management trainee at the Billy's Bank. You've all gotten to the finals, but there's still one final task that needs to be accomplished before we decide on who will eventually be that individual. That task would be a simple one for you. It, it would be an assessment conducted by our HR department who will administer our HR administration test. Once you've completed that exercise, we will be presented with the results of that exercise and you'll then be interviewed by a panel of judges consisting of Mr. Lario, Mr. Marshallick and myself and at that point after that interview, we'll decide on who would best fit the role of the Billings Apprentice. Okay. Thank you very much. Wow, really? Mr. Chairman, really? <laughs> He always know he could keep the drama up, really. He, he had me on the edge of my seat just now, but um, I really appreciate what they said. Um, I think it did. Um, I take into me deeply, you know, I started off a little rough. I mean, I'm a shaker, believe me. Um, that was like the final challenge, if, you know, so. But I picked it up afterwards, you know. So, the strengths come out. Um, but he really twisted, Mr. Tierman, he really twisted, you know. Um, I'm happy the decision to make, you know, give us all a fair chance to, to do the theoretical part and make we, make we do it properly. See who, who, who the really believes apprentice. I'm so happy, like, I mean, what, did the, what decision he made, that was awesome. I just feel so happy because, man, I made it to the finals. Now I could say that, wow, well, yeah, I've achieved something great. I'm so happy, that's all I could say. Oh my goodness, the makeover is great, fantastic. I mean, no one will even notice that this is Nalita. Is it, I thought they wouldn't notice, but they did. Yeah. Being a fair man that the chairman is, and being an a intelligent individual, he decided to go with three of us, uh, which I believe was the best decision because, uh, you know, each of us have talents in our own way. I'm ready to take the first prize. I guess as eager as, any, as, as the other two, but um, 
if any of them win, I will also be happy because I think uh, we've been through a lot. Uh, all three deserve the prize. This is our first flight? Yes, it's our first flight. I find it better if it's in car, like this. Is, yeah, I feel weird, like when you turn and so on. Just, just enjoy it.
Welcome to Key Chapel Apprentices. You've all made it to the final. You've all outperformed your peers. And hopefully by the end of this afternoon, one of you will be a judge Billy's apprentice. You all have performed commendably in the past two, two weeks. You've done an excellent job with respect to the task. And the fact that you're here this morning suggests that you are all deserving winners. But only one can be the Billy's apprentice. And we are going to individually interview you. We're going to ask you the same questions. And then we are going to also incorporate into that the results of your aptitude test. I'm going to try and provide a summary at the end of that exercise of how I thought you performed during the past two weeks. So you may all now proceed to the foyer and we will ask you to return one by one. Welcome back, Tariq. You feel confident? Yeah, pretty much. I'm um, not really nervous, just excited. Just excited. For the results, uh, like you guys said, um, I believe all of us have tremendous talents, and uh, to be honest, uh, whichever one wins, I believe they deserve it. That's the right attitude. Tariq, you've had an opportunity to showcase your talents over the past two weeks. You have performed commendably in all of the tasks, I think you, you won a couple of the challenges yourself and you demonstrated that you are a good team player. The first question I have for you this morning, Tariq, is of all the tasks that you had to complete, which of those tasks provided the greatest challenge and um, why was it the most difficult? Well, the most uh, difficult challenge to me was the, the one with the art gallery. I did not know much about art and it was like a headache for me to try and bring a leader and a follower together and to me that wasn't my job. But at the end of the day, if you wanted to succeed somewhat, I, I had to do it. So you, had, you, you saw the challenge of being an emissary or intermediator between the two parties. But in the real world, you know you're going to have to do a lot of that. You've had the opportunity to sort of evaluate having had the opportunity to do this task, your own strengths and your own weaknesses. Where, where do you see your greatest strength lie and um, what would be you know, your greatest weakness coming out of these challenges? The fact that even though I get scared, I, I, I don't know how to let myself give up. I say that as a weakness because like, it, 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 gives you a little, it gives me a little bit of anxiety that I have to, I have to do good, I have to do good. And I find that uh, as a weakness because I have to learn to control the, the factor of being calm and relaxed. And also, along with that would be maybe I need to learn how to control the stress level a little bit. In terms of that, I believe that's, that's my weakness. In terms of strength, I believe bringing people together and understanding them and uniting them is my greatest strength. I've seen that through the different challenges, how you try to coalesce the team. If you were to be the Billy's apprentice, in what, in what capacity do you see yourself best serving the Billy's Bank? Where do you see yourself in the organization? I've proven that in the past two weeks that even though I had to study a little bit, I could be all around them. I love the business more than dealing with people, but I could do both. Um, I don't have a, a set one as which I would be best in because I try to be the best in everything that I can be and give my all and see what I can accomplish there. Why do you believe you should be the Billy's apprentice? What sets you apart from the other two candidates? When it comes to leading people, I think I have the advantage in that sense. And like my belief is you can't get to the top alone. You need to push your team. You need to guide them. You need to Bring the weakest one, the one who's afraid the most, and bring them to shine. And if you bring that one to shine, then everybody will follow that example of if he or she can do that, then all of us can be to do it together. Because it's not a one-man show. It's unity that brings forward everybody else. What learning lesson would you take away from the past two weeks? From a personal standpoint? You know what inspired me the most, I'm gonna say to you, 
was one of the contestants, Nelita. So I learned that no matter where you come from, no matter what you do, once you strive hard and you have a big heart, you can make it forward. That's the biggest lesson. Tariq, your winner, okay? But there can only be one winner. Yeah. Keep up the excellent work you're doing. You're gonna go extremely far. I'm sure about that. Okay, I hope it's at the Billy's Bank. Yeah. <laughs>
my outgoingness, you know, I'm not afraid to speak to strangers, speak confidently, um, sell products, um, sales on a whole. Um, I'm very creative in terms of marketing. I can come up with ideas. Um, my weaknesses would be, as you mentioned before, um, if uh, I'm on a team and um, there is somebody who I believe is stronger than me in, um, let's say, presenting, like with the example of Andre, I thought he was a stronger candidate to do more PR stuff, you know, to present. So I stepped back a little and um, gave him the forefront to, to step up. So um, you mentioned as a leader, I should have taken the reins on, on the group on a whole and just lead, you know. Where do you see, see yourself ending up in the Middle East, man? Um, at this point, I see myself uh, in your position in a couple of years, of course. <laughs> um, but directly, I would be, uh, I think I would probably, I, I showed a lot of strengths in sales and marketing, so I think initially I would be, I'd be better there until I've learned the, the other tasks and jobs and skills that I need to do. Um, what, Adrian, in your estimation, sets you apart from Nelita and from Tariq? Why would you see yourself ahead of them? Based on my experience in the work field, I've, I've learned a lot. I've um, been with a few companies already. Um, I know how to carry myself in um, a professional environment. Um, I represent whichever organization I am with very, very loyally. What learning lesson would you take away from the experience? I wouldn't say I learned anything new. I have more reinforced the value that I had on myself. You know, I always thought I was a very strong, bold, bright individual, and the um, past couple of years I was more fading into the mist, and uh, the challenges that you gave me proved to my, let me prove to my, allowed me the chance to prove to myself of the value that I initially stated on myself. Would you do it again? And if so, what would you do different the next time around? Uh, I would. I would do this again. I, I very much enjoyed the challenges, um, coming up with stuff on the spot, showing my bright ideas overnight. I would definitely be more creative in terms of color and um, splice with, with the marketing stuff, as you mentioned, with the task that I feel was basically more on visual. So I would definitely bring more visually appealing um, creations to life. Thank you very much, Adrian. Yes, sir. Best of luck. Yes, sir. Thanks a lot. Welcome back. Thank you. Uh, we have just performed the individual interviews on you guys, and you still haven't made the task of separating the candidates any easier. You know, it's still very close, I assure you. Um, you all did, did exceptional interviews. I mean, I'm very proud of you know each and every one of you. I, I mean, if you were my kids, I would be an extremely proud father today. You know, congratulations on an excellent interview. What I would like to do now is simply to sort of recap, you know, my assessment um, of your individual performances over the past two weeks. Not in any great detail, just to kind of give you a sense and some pointers where I think you can kind of improve or what I think your strengths are. And um, once we do that, um, we're not going to deliberate much longer. We're going to probably um, announce the winner soon after that. Okay? Um, I'd prefer to go with Nelita first. Um, she's the most lovely, and I think she deserves to be addressed in the first instance. Nelita, I think you, I saw your, your um, initial interview last night, actually, and um, 
when I look at your initial interview and I look at you today, I mean, I'm seeing a transformed Anita. You know, I think your parents may not recognize you when you get back up to Orange Walk. Yeah. You know, and that's good. It's a positive transformation, you know. Um, I think you will the dark horse in the race. I think there were a lot of candidates who didn't expect you to reach the finals. But you, you made it. Even in defeat, I saw you rise above that, and I saw you make an effort to improve. I believe it was one of the first challenges where I suggested to you that you needed to be a little more assertive and speak a little more, and you were being sidelined and marginalized. I think you took that advice, and I saw a different Nalita you know, in the succeeding challenges. So an exceptional job, well done. Keep up the good work that you're doing. Tariq, um, what can I say about Tariq? Um, Tariq should not have been here, let me say that. Because Tariq met the minimum requirement to be on this program. But you know what, Tariq? You made it, and you made it to the finals. So hats off to you. Congratulations. You did an exceptional job. Um, how would I describe Tariq? I would describe Tariq as grace under fire. You know, he's very cool. You know, he's not ruffled easily. You know, he, when things fall apart, he maintains his composure. And those are very, very important skills in life because you'd find in life that a lot of times things go wrong. But the key to success is not panicking when things go wrong, but making sure you fix it as quickly as possible and trying to do it in such a way that people didn't even realize there was a mistake. I think your presentation skills are quite good as well, Tariq. Um, where I would kind of do a little work with Tariq, and uh, again, I mean, you're all exceptional. Um, personal grooming, sometimes you came, you wouldn't shave properly. Um, when you're going to meet a client, you know, you need to be looking in a particular way. Um, your dress and your general deportment, I think those areas could do with some improvement. But once you start working on some money, I know you're going to fix that. I'm confident about that, right? Um, Adrian, um, Adrian, what can I say about Adrian? Uh, Adrian had his ups and downs, you know. There were times when Adrian was flying and there were times he was sort of middling. Um, but you shone brightly, or most brightly for me, with respect to how you handled the art exhibition. You know, what you did there was simply amazing. You know, the fact that you serenaded your um, clients with your guitar, you know. Um, it shows that creativity, you know, that I think is so important in any business that you find yourself. Um, I think where you fell flat a bit was in the task that you should have done the best in. I mean, because your background is IT. I think you were the strongest IT candidate. But um, the task which involved the development of the website, I think may not have been a strong point. And I suspect what happened there, you might have been a bit overconfident. I like your general deportment. You know, it tells me that you, you think seriously about yourself and you see yourself going places. You know, and it's important because you need to see yourself in certain positions. You know, don't have pe don't, it doesn't matter what people say. Once you have a clear mind about where you're going, you know, just keep pressing on. But all in all, I think you know you were consistent in terms of your presentations. And um, any one of the ideas that you brought to the table could be an idea that could be implemented by the Billy's Bank or the clients who you worked with. You know, so those are my general comments in terms of your overall performance during the past three, two weeks. You know, all exceptional candidates, um, your futures are very, very bright. Billy's could do with more people <coughs> like you guys. I mean, this is what Billy's needs. Young, bright, entrepreneurial kids who understand what it takes to get ahead in business. I am confident that uh, we have made the right decision and you are the, the best three. Um, if it is that I would have to make a comment generally on the, on the three of you, I believe that uh, you need to pursue a little bit the underlying business study, the underlying business of banking, which is finance, right? So as you move forward, doesn't matter if you're in IT, uh, marketing, you need to understand financial concepts and what runs a bank, what is the belly of the beast. And that is the only advice that I would give you. Um, don't be nervous, that is something that will come with time um, and a little bit of experience. In, my, in the separate questions that I, I asked, that I had asked, I asked about your personal takeaways. And it's interesting in terms of how you all 
no see yourselves as compared to where you were. And I think if you take away the lessons that um, you told us, right? I mean, the world is yours. I mean, you could really do much more. And there's only one thing left for us to do at a stage. But probably before I do that, I mean, it might be appropriate for me to introduce our guests we have with us today. You would have noticed in the corner a gentleman sitting there during the interview. That gentleman is Lord Ashcroft. He is the major shareholder of the Belize Bank and BCBHL, and he has been looking at the interview process for the entire duration. So I'd like Lord Ashcroft to join us. Well, I, I've been quietly uh, sitting in the corner uh, listening to you today, and I've also seen some of the takes uh, of what you've been doing over the last uh, couple of weeks. It's been an incredible journey uh, for you guys. Uh, it's over now, it's only for the judges to make a final uh, decision. So what I'd like to do now is to get you guys to relax and just uh, come with me and let's just have an informal discussion between the four of us. Thank you very much indeed. And thank you very much judges, a tremendous uh, performance two very professional teams from the Belize Bank here, and not to underestimate the professionalism that you've also seen from Channel 5. Thank you very much. Okay, guys. Up the stairs we go. Well, at least you can all relax. Uh, now the judging is over, it's out of your hands. And so this is, uh, uh, this, this chat is uh, uh, nothing to do with the judging or all the rest of it. Uh, yeah. And at the end of the day, to have you three guys as having risen to the top through a process, learnt a lot during that. But quite clearly, there's only going to be one winner in terms of who the Belize Apprentice is, even though you're all winners. Yeah. But the one thing which uh, I will be saying to Lyndon Giuseppe um, that's come out of this morning is that there'll be one winner, but I want the other two to then have some discussions with Lyndon to see what further we can do together with you whether it is something else within the organizations, whether it is some form of scholarship to help you guys to the next stage of your career. So this is not going to be one winner and two of you walk out. We want all three of you to find something during this process because we would like all three of you as very, very talented Belizeans to come and work with us and join our professionalism. We, we believe we're already yeah. the most professional bank in Belize, but we want to build on that. We don't want to rest on our laurels. You know, I have a saying that in an interview, you can talk the talk, but what the apprentice program has given to you is you've had to walk the walk. Yeah. So it's a combination of talk the talk and walk the walk. We're, the, we're one of the economic driving forces of the country. We have to spot the new entrepreneurs, the businesses to uh, invest in and, uh, um, and promote. Um, so the Belize Bank, as the largest bank in Belize, is uh, central uh, to the growth of the, uh, of the country. So good luck to uh, uh, all three of you, and it's been a great experience. Thank you very much. Come back. This is the difficult part for me. Um, while you were outside, I was deliberating with my colleagues here in terms of you know, the past two weeks, the different tasks, um, who performed the best, and 
you know, who really represents you know, what we're looking for in terms of the Belize Apprentice. And I, I would be proud to have any one of you working on the Belize Bank as a Belize Apprentice. But we can really only have one Belize Apprentice. You know, so it, it's, it's a tough decision. In the interest of equity and fair play, we have to adjudicate that that person is the winner today. And um, it gives me great honor to say to you that Adrian it will be the first Belize apprentice. Congratulations, Adrian. Congratulations on a job well done. Keep up the excellent work you're doing. You've made your family proud today. You all have made your families proud, but you will be the first Belize apprentice. Nalita, during your closing interview, you mentioned that you wanted to be in HR and you saw yourself there in the future. The Belize Bank will be offering you the opportunity to pursue a scholarship at either Galen or the University of West Indies to pursue a degree in human resource management. Okay? And Tariq, you mentioned that you wanted to get into business. So we would like to facilitate that process and I'm offering you the opportunity to take up a scholarship from the Belize Bank to pursue a degree at either one of those two universities in the area of business. And um, who knows, there are many opportunities that come along at the Belize Bank. You all will be at the top of the list for those opportunities. So congratulations, Adrian. Congratulations to you, Nalita, and to Tariq. All the best, and I look forward to seeing you guys in very prominent positions in the future. Oh, man. That wonderful feeling, you know, to hear your name at the end. Just There were numerous times I think they may have sent me home, so, you know. Unlike Nalita, I never packed my bag yet, but now I will pack and in confidence that I will have a job when I come back. They are calm, happy. Well, I am feeling really satisfied at the way things turned out since, you know, I, I got a scholarship and that's one of my dreams. I always wanted to continue studying, but due to, you know, money, I couldn't. But now that I took this opportunity, it has, it has taken me to the, way, to the road that I really wanted to be. You know, Adrian made it on top, which is uh, good. You know, I'm proud of him. Uh, he deserves it, uh, you know. Especially the news he heard today, I mean, the last night. Uh, this is going to be a great opportunity for him and his family to start with a new one fresh. So that's good. And then Elite, I mean, what can I say? Uh, just come a long way. And all in all, I, it was a great experience. I uh, really loved it. And uh, I was happy. Everybody won today. And uh, it was great. So I'm the apprentice. <laughs> Bigger than yours. <laughs>